Hello Gunpla fans, it's Speedball Harlow and once again guys, it's that time of the month. It is the USAP Bandai Delivery. And though I can say this is not a huge box, so it's not going to be like a couple Master Grades that I can think of from this order. So, as you can see, yep. Though I can take a good guess of at least one or two kits that could be in here, but... I'm just going to simply show you guys because I know if I guess, I'll probably guess wrong somehow. <laughs> That's usually the case. So yeah, let's get this open. Yeah, I'm very interested. Yeah, this month was a interesting month for P-Bandai, if you guys had seen online. It was very interesting because of how many re older kits got a reissue instead. Though, then again, we didn't really get a lot of new kits announced yet for P-Bandai. I mean, the biggest so far was, uh, well, the Burning Gundams add-on set. And, um, ooh, and the GM uh, from Dones Island, uh, the Slager version. That one is going to be very interesting. A lot of fans are really liking that one so far. So, yes, I'll probably, hopefully, if I can, grab one. Uh, yes, I'll be grabbing one when I can. Because that's going to be interesting because a lot of fans are still asking, where's the retail ones, huh? Where, where's where's more some GMs? Where's our Revive HG GMs? Where's our entry grade GMs? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's been a while since we've gotten some new ones. So I am hoping we'll see, like I just said, one of those other kind of GMs soon enough. It would be nice to check out some new ones. All right, let's see. Just the normal bubbles and such without opening too much let's see that's open let's see as always the monthly bubbles so let's see um okay yeah oh wow i'm feeling a good number of boxes in here guys so yeah i definitely would have guessed wrong i'm sure of that right now <laughs> but yeah we'll just open this up and let's take a look uh well let's take a look at this blank box any guesses guys <laughs> Let's move that back, and it's off. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, I was waiting for this one. The Gundam Legulus from Memory of Eden's Gundam Age OVA series. Ah, oh, man, I have been waiting for this version. Uh, for those who aren't aware of this version, because sadly it isn't seen it often, uh, this is based, of course, based on the regular retail HG of the Legulus, but this is the red version. Ah, man, this one's always been one I've been wanting to track down for years, but everywhere I looked for this kit, this thing was like freaking, uh, let me think. I've seen some go for over a hundred. Ah, uh, so, uh, oh, that's right. I had forgotten they reissued this a while back. Yeah, now that I recall, I'm pretty sure by now we almost have all the age uh, P. Bandai reissues done, except I think there's, yeah, there's still a master grade they haven't done yet. So, yeah, ah, oh, this is so cool. And I, huh, even at the new logo, though. I didn't know that. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, now I think I have a decent idea now of what's in here. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, uh, I remember this now. Okay, the Cubile effects set. For those who don't remember, this is a special effects set that goes with the revived high grades of the Cubiles, which, well, if you can take a guess, guys, um, I picked this up, but there, there's, of course, a reason why I would pick this up, and if I'm betting right... I don't know if I'm right in here. Let me see. Oh boy, they're all stuck together. I don't want that. There we go. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Got the effects set so I can, of course, upgrade the mark ii cubulase that i got in here and yes these are of course are the revived high grade versions not the original so yeah i haven't actually built a oh, wow i just realized it's been a long time since i've done a cubulase <laughs> we'll be expecting to see some cubulase guys soon enough oh, i can't wait to check this one out especially with another one i have in my backlog who be interesting <laughs> all right what else oh, more bubbles Okay, let's see. Okay, smaller kit, so it's... The... Oh, my God, this thing. Finally. Yes, this is the p band recently announced Farn Farja. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Farn Farja. Oh, my God, this was such a surprise to fans. Ah, oh, man. Gundam Age fans were like, no way, We they finally did. Uh, especially for the Farja, guys, because you guys... Oh man, this kit is a pain to track down in retail form. 
its retail counterpart is insane to track down and especially the price i mean i'm still waiting for the actual retail reissues to come about uh and those were announced last year and released so i'm still waiting Oof. but yes uh i'm so glad they finally got this and of course it works out perfectly with the ledgeless uh definitely um <laughs> you guys don't know how glad i am to have this now let's see what else do we have oh that's right the heavy arms custom a very different heavy arms from its retail version right guys <laughs> uh but this yeah of course being a wing fan that i am i had to get heavy arms here though to tell you the truth guys with the sand rock custom we got you'd think they would have just done like an add-on set for these guys and just given us the extra parts instead of doing two separate releases hmm. however uh Though I'm wondering when they're going to do a clear version. Gotta wonder. All right, what else? Oh, yep, here's one more. Let's see. It's... Ah! <laughs> ah, the Gundam Crossbone. You guys know I love my crossbones. And this is, of course, the original X-Zero, not the full cloth we got last year. Ah, I'm so glad to finally have this guy. Though, unfortunately, I have to tell you some bad news, guys, because as you probably should remember, uh, for those especially on the USA site... Uh, when this kit was listed, there was one other crossbone unit that was released that everyone had to have. And yes, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Crossbone Gundam's Phantom Gundam. Uh, that thing was so cool, and sadly, guys, I have, I'm have i sad to say I could not grab one. Uh, that's the one thing now I'm sad about this order, because I could not add that to this set, because uh, I love the crossbones, and that one... Mm, that would have been nice to have had but from what i remember that or ooh, those kits sold very quickly uh it's insane how quickly they went that's oh, one more guys all right and that is of course being that i have the other keyblade of course i had to have the l so forgive me guys if I mispronounce this. <laughs> but yeah, of course, being that I have, of course, the other one right here, of course I had to get her sister unit. It would only make the most sense to do that. It just wouldn't be right if I didn't at least have both of these two. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. So if, give me one second. And there you guys go. This was the August list of P Bandai orders I did. And... Definitely going to be starting to work on so many of these guys soon enough, guys. Especially in my ages. Uh, I'm so close to finishing my HD collection. So close. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about it today, guys. I thank you as always for coming. For sh for enjoying the hobby. And um, I hope to see you guys soon enough.